Grand Prix Insights is presented by Allianz. Following the first European Grand Prix of the season, Formula One now moves to the very edge of the continent. The Istanbul Park Circuit lies on the Bosphorus, 70 kilometers outside the city, and is the most recent addition to the F1 calendar. It's one of just three circuits that dance to a different beat, with the cars here, as in Singapore and Sao Paulo, going around anti-clockwise. This idiosyncrasy and the circuit design pose quite a challenge for the drivers. Turkey has one of the most challenging corners of the year, uh, which is a very, very fast corner, going left, which is unusual for us. Most of our corners are always going clockwise and right. Um, and it's, it's, it has four parts to it. And so it's very, very difficult to get the car in the right position in the beginning to still be in the right position at the end of the corner. So it's, uh, it's really a big challenge. and, and the better drivers really get an advantage through there. We're talking here about Turn 8, which follows a long downhill stretch. Further tight corners force the drivers to brutally thrash their cars over the curbs in order to save time. And that's possible only with the right setup. Um, if you've got a pretty bumpy track, you're looking for things not to disturb the car. So you're trying to get the damping, the damping to work well so that when the car goes over a bump, you, you maintain your grip. You're basically trying to make sure that the wheels stay in contact with the tarmac for the maximum amount of time. More compliant suspension and a softer spring and damper setup help the cars to ride the high curbs and stop their wheels leaving the ground. They thus maintain their grip, which is found in any case only on the perfect line. It's so difficult to lap after lap after lap get the line exactly right for each corner and, uh, and as soon as you make a small mistake you get onto these uh, sand and marbles and rubber pieces outside of the ideal line and once you get there there is zero grip and there's a very big chance that you lose a lot of time and go to the edge of the track or even come off the track. It's thus a case of hold the line over the last few meters where it again gets very winding then flat out onto the home straight and off onto lap two. Grand Prix Insights was presented by Allianz.